Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh. I'm a makeup artist from New York and I'm here to give you guys my opinions and my thoughts on various products, techniques, tips, and tricks. And my goal is that hopefully you guys pick up some of those tips. So today I'm going to be doing a Tati Beauty Blend the Full unboxing and review. So if you want to know if this glorified powder puff is worth your coin, make make sure to keep on watching. Why did I do that? <laughs> Make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and make sure to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. I drop videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays so make sure you guys tune in. Also don't forget to enter my most recent giveaway, the Amrezy palette, it does end this Friday so make sure you guys go join that palette giveaway because who knows, you could win a free palette. A whole, I don't know how much the price was, but a whole palette could be yours let's get right into the video <laughs> i didn't even wet my beauty blenders so i can't even like use them because i have to use this thing but this is a tati beauty blendable it retails for 18 dollars on tatibeauty.com i ordered it it came really quick and it's really nice i think it was like 22 dollars with shipping and everything and it just says cleaning instructions machine wash and dry in delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water rinse thoroughly and blot dry do not bleach, do not dry clean. 100% polyester, polyurethane. No harsh lines. XO's Tati. Cruelty V. Uh, cruelty V. <laughs> cruelty free. Vegan. Distributed by Tati. Uh, okay, I don't give it too much. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> the packaging is nice. It's one blendable and one baby blendable. So let's open it. Ready? Let's see what it smells like. It smells like. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so weird. Let's see. Ooh, the little baby blendable. So this is the little baby blendable. It comes in the shape of a heart. It's like a little stiff, but it's really soft. It's really, really soft. Really soft. That's really nice. And it has this little thing right here that says Tati Beauty, so you can put your fingers. And I believe this one's for like touch-ups or like, you know, to go and stuff like that. You could probably put powder with this one, but this one's really nice. And I'm pretty sure the strap switches sides, yeah. The stripe switches side, so you could just flip it over like that, and now you have a whole nother side too. That's really nice. And then let's see the other blendable. <laughs> Hello. Oh god. <laughs> Whoa, this one's way softer. So it has the same thing here, Tati Beauty. But so oh, but this one's like more like like this one is like it doesn't move that much. It's like pretty more sturdy. And this is like a lot more wiggly, I guess you would say. But this is really soft. Whoa, this is an interesting shape. And it does the same thing. You could flip the strap for a whole other side. So basically two sides, you know, which is pretty nice. But this thing is like nice. And this, a lot of people are complaining because the price is $18 uh, when the Laura Mercier powder puff is $16. But to be fair, I don't have the Laura Mercier one, but it's this big pretty much it's smaller than this one and you only get one and these are two of them and they're pretty good quality you know what i'm saying but this is really really nice but i've never i would never well not that i would never i've never used like this to apply makeup this is going to be different of course tati did say there's a learning curve obviously but that's just like with anything with like when the beauty blender started coming out you know you have to learn to like bounce and blend and stuff like that but it's not that bad, but this is more of a pro product, but Tati's bringing pro products to a consumer market. Cause this alone is perfect for me on clients as just a powder puff. Like, especially the small one, when you're just doing makeup sometimes, you just want like a little puff. So like, I'll put it like this. So I use these two fingers for my brush and then I have these two fingers in the puff or you could even put three. I like to keep my pinky out cause I feel like it helps with balance. But then you can get close and the puff will lay up against the face of the person you're doing the makeup on so it won't ruin their makeup and you can you know do touch-ups and stuff and it won't because sometimes when you're trying to do someone's makeup you kind of want to lean on them with your hand but you don't want to ruin what you've done perfect for that and this one tati says you can apply foundation well she says if you have a tatcha silk canvas primer something you're gonna push into your pores you can use this to apply it to, to your pores but i'm just gonna use the next one so i don't have that but she also said that it's for foundation it can be used for concealer it can be used for contouring it can be used for powder various things but we're gonna go we're gonna do a full face with this thing today and the little mini puff too and i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna let you guys know what's the tea like if you should spend your money or not 
you know like or should you just order a powder puff on Amazon and call it a day you know what I'm saying cuz I don't even know what I'm saying no, I'm joking. yeah let's just go in so I'm gonna go in with the next cosmetics honey do me up primer like I usually do I'm just gonna put that all over my face I've gone in with the NYX Cosmetics Honey Do Me Up Primer. So usually, you guys know I would contour first, but I don't know how this product is gonna work with how I usually do my makeup, which requires brushes. So I'm just gonna do like how regular you would do your makeup, like concealer and then foundation. I'm just gonna go in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Star Concealer, Magic Star Concealer. And by the way, I'm shade C19, if anybody was wondering. Nobody asked, literally. <laughs> I'm gonna place it like I usually do under my eyes and stuff and then I'm gonna blend it in with the blend of okay So now I'm just gonna take the blend of and yeah, we're gonna blend it in I'm gonna use it with the tip and I'm just gonna place it like kind of like this. It's kind of intuitive But I'm gonna pat Yeah, it's coming out. It's blending. <laughs> so it's blending pretty good. But um, as you can see right there, I don't know if you guys can see, maybe I'll zoom in. There's like a little hair thing from the powder puff on my from the blend of on my face let me just check real quick i don't know if you guys could see that but that was on my face but i think that's the only one. Oh no there's another one on this side to be fair with any first brush or thing it's gonna shed a few hairs at first but then after i think it'll be done but i'm gonna keep going in so my concealer is completely blended and i mean yeah it looks really good it looks like normal i do a little bit of like a drag and and like punch in too so like together next we're gonna go in with the foundation So I placed down the foundation and I'm gonna go in with the blender full now on the other side and I'm just gonna blend in my foundation. So this is a natural lay down. So nothing too crazy. Like, I mean, I did have to like um, blend for a little bit and like, um, you know, you just have to kind of like pull and put and like push in and push in it's like swipe and pull motions it's kind of like you have to kind of feel like what's going on but I'm gonna go oh, I'm gonna go in up to a, a few more spots where I feel like I need a little bit more covered I'm gonna put a little bit more <laughs> we we need more <laughs> put some more please put some more I'm just gonna blend that out so yeah this is completely blended I mean I like how it looks it looks good like I mean I don't hate it obviously I still need to like set it and powder it and everything like that but I mean I like how the tool works so far it's not that dirty mine and I've just used like both sides so yeah I think next let's um, set the under eye with the baby one and then let's spray down my face and then we'll continue so I just took a little bit of my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder on the mini puff and I'm just gonna press that into my under eyes I'm just gonna set my face. Mm, I love this stuff. I could do that for ages. <laughs> okay, so this is how I'm looking so far. Kind of like, I mean, it's looking pretty good, I think. It looks like my makeup normally looks. Ooh, whoa, I missed the whole area. So I don't know why, but it won't blend the foundation by my piercing. It just like won't. It's like struggling. It's as good as it's gonna get. Let's continue. Next, we're gonna go in with contour, I guess. Let's try it out. I mean, Tati said it could be done. So if she says it can be done, I assume it can be done. <laughs> Weird, but let's try it out. So I'm just gonna go with my Anastasia Beverly Hill contour kit like I usually do. And I'm gonna take my powder puff and I'm just gonna like put it like this. I'm gonna, so I could get a straight edge so I can cut right into the cheekbones. So 
so I went in it's not my favorite to contour with but I mean it works like if you were standard standard <laughs> if you were standard if you were stranded with just this I mean you could be your whole face with just this thing but like you guys can check it out I like something a little bit more precise and like I know you could blend bend it and stuff like that but it can only be so like you know but it's nice I'm not gonna lie it's very very nice Again, a very nice pro tool. Let's see how I'm gonna contour this nose. That's what matters. <laughs> now it's just rubbing off the product kind of on my nose. Trying, I'm really trying. So I was having trouble with my nose, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> I wouldn't, I'm not gonna press it too much because I don't expect it to contour my nose. Like I'm not gonna press it that hard that it wasn't doing a great job at it. But I mean, it looks all right, I guess, but not at all what I was trying to achieve. <laughs> Sorry. But let's continue, we're not done. There's, we still got a few things to go. So now we're just gonna highlight with it, ready? Let me get some highlighter. We're gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics 24 karat gold palette. And I'm gonna dip into King Tut. And I'm just gonna place that obviously on the high points of my cheek. Just getting a clean spot on the Blendiful. Oh, it's actually laying it pre down pretty nice. I actually don't hate how it's laying this down. did a pretty nice job a highlight again just what I said with the contour it's kind of again the precision where you don't have too much but I mean it plays it really well really really good especially for something that you didn't even think could place all those products down but yeah I think that's pretty much it oh actually I'm gonna go in with some velour lash adhesive and I'm just gonna place that on the blend and place it on my eyes no I'm joking I'm matching I don't think it can do much more for me. Maybe with the Baby Blender for I could set my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. But I mean, for everything it has done so far, it has done like a lot. Trust me, for one tool that could do all those types of things. And look, it's not even that bad, that dirty. But this is different. Like this is, what I like mainly is the fact that the strap flips. And I also like that you can, I like that it's this odd shape. Cause like you have this tip here that fits perfectly under your eyes or to like bake or something. But then you also have this very wide edge that's perfect to like place a lot of powder or foundation really fast and you can bend it for some contour. Then you can like take it like this to like put your highlighter, which is really nice. Cause you can, I don't know what the word is. You can mold it to whatever your need is. And then you have the little baby one that you could use for powder like I did to press it up or you could just use it to retouch some spots, you know, something like that. It's, they're both very soft. I'm gonna have to continue using them to give you guys my full, complete, like what I really think. I'll update you guys probably. But so far, this is pretty nice. Just even as a makeup artist, like I said before, to use as a powder puff. But I like this. I don't hate it. <laughs> it could have gone a lot worse, trust me. But yeah, check out Think of the Podcast. I'll leave the link in the description down below. We have an episode in every, we have a new episode every week. And yeah, it's funny. <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace i do this so often and so much now that i sat down and i was like i haven't made a video in forever and i made a video two days ago <laughs> i'm like wow i haven't sat here in a few days <laughs> i feel like this is like my first real video because that amrezi palette took forever to get here so that was kind of annoying but for the first time, I got something on time, so it's gonna be an actual good video. <laughs> but hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am Josh. I'm a makeup artist from New York, and my goal here is, is just to show you guys my opinion on different products and my perspective on different techniques and just various things like that. And hopefully you guys learn something from my channel as well. Hopefully you don't not learn anything from my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Valentine's Mystery Box unboxing and review. 
so yeah make sure you guys keep on watching to see if this box is worth your coin let me know if you like this video down below and make sure to hit that like button for that youtube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and make sure you hit the post notification bell so that you are notified every single time i drop a brand new video i do drop videos monday wednesdays and fridays so i hope you guys tune in and enjoy don't forget to enter my most recent giveaway i did give away the mreezy x anastasia beverly hills palette and that will be finishing on friday which is valentine's day so make sure you guys join as many times as you can because we're going to be announcing this first ever giveaway winner of my channel like that's awesome i don't know to me maybe you guys probably don't give a fuck i care because like i'm giving something to someone and it's gonna be... but that's not we don't play around here we're not gonna do one giveaway and that's it you already know the giveaways are coming in hot so stay tuned and keep that post notification bell icon turned on so you know when I post a new video so you don't miss that giveaway. But let's get into the box. Let's open this box. I got a knife right here. <laughs> the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Valentine's Day Mystery Box had three tiers and they were limited edition. So obviously only for 